you're Spencer? You? Yes, guys, I'm telling you. I am Spencer. I'm Spencer. <laughs> ah! Yep, that's Spencer. Hey, mistakes happen, even with the pros. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 movie crew members embarrassingly caught on camera. In case you ever need to defend yourselves, as I myself have done on countless occasions, for full details, see my published work. For this list, we'll be looking at various movie scenes in which crew members or equipment appeared in shot. So you're worried, not because you'll be in a house full of vampires, but because you think they want to prove you. <laughs> I'm glad I amuse you. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to check out the full song at the link below. You know it, you know it, the man of the moment. You feel the pressure, I'm feeling at home. And I figure I'm winning, I'm taking the throne, and I'm saying no. Hey, you know, you know, you know Number 10, the crew, Shazam. Director David F. Sandberg would be the first to admit that he messed up while filming Shazam. Practically no one noticed this glaringly obvious mistake until Sandberg himself brought it up in a YouTube video. During the scene in which Shazam is trying to fly through the mall, a group of crew members can be seen standing around beside the escalator. And for months, you look at this shot over and over, scrutinizing every pixel around Shazam, and you're so focused on that that you don't notice until way too late that there are crew members still in the shot standing around. Luckily, Sandberg caught this mistake before it was too late and digitally added shopping bags and a cleaning cart to make the crew members look like shoppers and janitors. Why they're all just standing there, harder to make sense of, but it's certainly better than nothing. Oh, whatever, screw Number nine, ancient jeans, gladiator. Now we're no historians, but we're pretty sure they didn't have jeans in ancient Rome. Tell me about your home. Unfortunately, a jean-wearing crew member can be spotted at the very beginning of Ridley Scott's epic Gladiator. Following the opening battle of Germania, Maximus approaches a horse. If you look through the space between the horse's chin and neck, you will see a crew member walking in the background clad in a very modern sweater and jeans. For the sake of historical context, the term jeans was coined in 1795. And modern jeans as we know them totally didn't emerge until the 1870s. Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here? Number eight, not a care in the world, Terminator 2 Judgment Day. As impeccably made and produced as T2 is, a few mistakes still managed to slip by James Cameron. I need a vacation. One of the funnier ones can be spotted in the Cyberdyne lobby shootout. Immediately after the SWAT team opens fire on the Terminator, a crew member can be spotted walking by the left-hand side of the background with his hands in his pockets. Drop him! The best part is that he seems to realize that he's just walked directly into frame. He stops walking, faces the action, and seems to turn back the way he came as if to get out of the shot. Clearly, though, it was too late. Luckily, he can now tell people that he was in Terminator 2, so that has to count for something. I'll be back. Number seven, bless these crew members, the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Here we have another case of crew members simply standing around in the background. Since you're such an exceptional beauty, I'm prepared to forgive you. Unfortunately, filmmakers in the 1970s couldn't just easily digitally add random goodies to disguise the crew and make them part of the action. During Eddie's Hot Patootie Bless My Soul number, Eddie gets on a bike and begins riding through the lab. During one of his POV shots, a group of crew members can be very briefly seen on the right-hand side of the screen. You can also see some equipment legs. Luckily, the shot cuts away just as the crew pops into the frame, so you really have to know where to look. One from the vaults. Number six, hiding in the bushes. Jumanji, welcome to the jungle. To get the perfect shot, sometimes the camera operator needs to go to extreme places. Dr. Bravestone, welcome to Jumanji. Like the dense, insect-filled bushes. This mistake can be seen as Smolder and Mouse run through the jungle after throwing a boomerang at the attacking bikers. As they run past a particularly large bush, the camera pans left to follow them. You want me to reach in here and see if I got a hacky sack for you to throw and do absolutely nothing with me? Unfortunately, this panning captures a camera operator in the bushes who's filming the action from a closer angle. 
While they're wearing black to better blend into the environment, their arm is clearly visible, as is the equipment that they're holding by their waist. The one that... Yes, the thing that did the thing. That's it. Moving on. Number five, Robert Rodriguez Reflection, Spy Kids. Oh, shit. Talking mushrooms. Here's an example of a respected filmmaker falling to the ever-pervasive reflection problem. The beginning of the film sees Ingrid Cortez sit down in front of a vanity which has three mirrors, multiplying the chance that a crew member will be caught in its reflection. Unfortunately, both a crew member and their equipment can be spotted in the shot. If you look over actress Carla Gugino's shoulder, you'll clearly see director Robert Rodriguez and a camera in the mirror's reflection. <sighs> hey, maybe he just wanted a cameo. I never sent an adult to do a kid's job. Number four, car reflections, Twilight. The filmmakers of Twilight fell into that reflective trap not once, but twice. What is it? Complication. The first instance is when Bella arrives for her first day at her new high school. As she arrives in her beat-up pickup truck, the boom mic can clearly be seen in the truck's windshield. To make matters worse, it can then be seen retreating as the camera pulls away from the truck. Later, as Edward and Billy glare at each other in their cars, various crew members can be seen reflected in Edward's backseat window. Number 3. Baseball Cap – Braveheart Here we have another period piece containing a very modern piece of apparel. You might kill the fly up, but I'll try it. Oh, right? God, you certainly didn't learn any manners on your travels. The beginning of the movie sees Wallace and his old friend Hamish competing in a friendly boulder throwing competition. Wallace decides to up the ante and play a game of chicken with the boulder. Just as he says, well then do it, a crew member sporting a baseball cap can be seen walking in the background to his left. Well then do it. Would you like to see him crush me like a worm? <laughs> Obviously, there were no baseball caps in 13th century Scotland. Granted, Braveheart is full of anachronisms, so hey, this mistake fits in well with the rest of the movie. Fine speech. Now what do we do? Number two, filming the duel. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Apparently Hogwarts was filming the Harry Malfoy duel for posterity. Scared Potter. You wish. Either that or a cameraman accidentally got in the shot. It's probably the latter. Immediately after Malfoy is launched by Harry, Snape lifts Malfoy to his feet with an air of disappointment and fury. Just as he puts his hand on Malfoy's shoulder, viewers can clearly spot a blonde-haired cameraman standing to the left of the stage. I said disarm only! He doesn't exactly fit in with the young students owing to his age and posture. Eagle-eyed viewers may also notice him tilt the camera up as Snape hauls Malfoy to his feet. That was very wrong indeed, boys. Very wrong of you. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Pushing items. Scream. A crew member's hand can be seen as they push items out of the closet. <laughs> crew and Spotlight, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Various crew members and a spotlight can be seen as short round runs through the mine. Camera reflection, Titanic. Apparently a camera operator is coming to dinner as well. Good evening, sir. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one. Cowboy Hat, Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl. There's something particularly amusing about anachronistic clothing in period pieces. I said no lies. Of course the clothing wasn't meant to be seen in the movie, but it's still funny anyway. At the very end of Black Pearl, Jack examines the ship's wheel before proudly calling his crew to action. As he says it, various extras behind Depp's shoulder begin to move. On deck, you scabrous dogs! Hands for braces! Let go and hold to run free! Now, bring me that horizon. Unfortunately, their movement reveals a man sporting a cowboy hat, a bright white shirt, and sunglasses, who simply appears to be enjoying the view. It's a very brief shot, but he's very noticeable once you know he's there. This is either madness or brilliance. 
Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments. And hey, if you're a fan of the song playing right now, be sure to check out the music video for it right here. Big C. TMF. Let's get it done. Hey, the kid is unstoppable. I stay on top of you. I make impossible. Do like it's fossil fuel. You see the app?